terms of the future of neuroscience as a discipline, what do you think we should be looking forward to? Like, are we going to have treatments for disease X or Y? Or I think we'll get there for sure. Um, it's you know the the challenge is that the brain is extremely complicated, and we don't understand the brain very well. But in the last decade or so, the the degree to which we have uh, developed our understanding of the brain has been immense. So you're generally optimistic about where things are going. Yeah. Ravi, are you as optimistic about the future of neuroscience? I am. I think uh, we're getting to the point where we can at least contemplate and in some cases are effectively modifying the trajectory of disease. So that's the first step. At least we can slow things down. Rather than treating a particular pathology, we're actually treating a constellation of cognitive symptoms which are maybe common across a bunch of different disorders, um, which you might not necessarily instantly associate with one another. So when treating the negative aspects of, of schizophrenia, the same approach in schizophrenia may well work in, for example, Parkinson's. Okay. Maybe an analogy would be that a generation ago you had broad spectrum antibiotics that kind of tried yeah. to yeah. tried to like cover yeah. everything. You didn't really know exactly what was going on, and now you have more focused antibiotics. Exactly, yeah. and you know what we're trying to do is look very precisely at the different aspects of cognitive impairment and tie our therapeutics to those specific aspects of cognitive impairment. So what you're both working on are much more precise tests yeah. that have a scientific basis, that take advantage of the latest science, and that yeah. take advantage of the imaging, right, that is really possible today that wouldn't have been possible even half a generation ago. Yeah, and the other thing that's really important about the precision of these cognitive tests is that we will be able to pick up on cognitive impairments much earlier on in the progression uh, of the disease. 